Welcome, Dragon Disciples and Wyvern Warriors, to another episode of Draconis Gold Gaming. I'm your host, Draconis Gold, the Golden Dragon, and we are continuing in Seven Days to Die. As you can see, we have finished the interior of our um, tower base here. We have closed up all of the walls. It's all nice and secure now. We shouldn't have any more issues. Um, I'm not going to take this ladder off just yet, and the only reason I'm going up it right now is just to show you guys that we have finished this all the way up. Looks good. And we're going to head back down. Now, I can't just drop because I don't have hay bales at the bottom of this ladder. Uh, matter of fact, there is a wood chest at the bottom of this one, so I would definitely have killed myself if I had just dropped from that top height up there. Um, something that we did not want to do. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to come down and we are going to uh, divest ourselves of a lot of crapola that we have on us because we are going on a walkabout. We are headed out of here. We're going to go see what we can find. Uh, we're going to put a few things away. Let's see. Um, we're going to need the pickaxe. We're going to need the fire axe. We want to take the shovel with us because we want to pick up some clay along the way. Um, let's see, anything here that we want to take with us? Hmm. All right, we've got 73 shotgun shells. We've got 97 steel crossbow bolts, but we are bringing some steel arrowheads with us. So if we find some feathers along the way, we can make some steel arrowheads. We're going to run back over to the other base real quick, see if we have any more money left over there that we want to take with us or bring with us. And if we do... Um, that'll be great. If not, we're just going to hit the road. So let's do that. Let's run over to the other base. We're going to go through this way. Um, I will show you that I have done some stuff in the forge room. I've expanded it out a little bit, made it a little nicer over here. Um, I still have a lot of work to do, but we have increased the area that we have available to us in here. As you can see, we've got a lot of this taken out. Uh, the forges are not running right now. I really don't have any concrete going. I think we're okay. We've got the tower built. It's going to be fine for Horde Knight. Uh, it's not a big deal at all. Uh, it's the 83rd day. Let's see. We had Horde Knight at 77. So, what? We've got one more day until Horde Knight. If my calculations are correct, I will have to double check that. But it sounds right. All right, let's go over here and see if we've got any more screamers or zeds or anything making noise over here. Remember, we had that screamer. She was actually in the base. That was pretty wild. Um, okay, do we have any more money over here that we want to take with us? All right, I'm not seeing any money, but we're going to take some extra frames just in case. Um... Yeah, I don't see any money in here. Let's check the rest of them just to be on the safe side. Nope, no money. And we do have gas, and we are going to want to take that with us. There we go. We're going to put that in the mini bike. Alright, and we're going to go ahead and top off our food and water. Let's go ahead and eat some food. We do not have to top off our water because we are already topped off on water. But we are going to come down here and take the goldenrod tea with us. Uh, we're not going to take the meat stew with us, but we'll move it over to the, to the chest here. Um, we are going to take the water, though. We do need that. We're going to take... Well, we can always come back for the antibiotics. Not a big deal. And I think that's empty. All right. I think we're good to go, guys. Let's head off down the road. Let's go see what we can find. Um... Get up to the top here. There was some damage to the door, but I don't have any of the um, iron or steel on me to upgrade the door or to work on the door, so I really don't care about that. I have closed up the holes in the wall, so that's been taken care of. I'm pretty sure I got the other one over here taken care of as well. Yes, I did. Looks good. Awesome. All right, let's fuel up the mini bike and let's head off down the road. All right, the mini bike is full. We got plenty of gas. 
All right, I like it. Let's go ahead and, oh, that was interesting. Whee! All right. And let's check our map. Where do we want to go? All right, we can head off. We could head up in this direction, I guess. See what's up there. Um, a few things down here. Hey, what? Let's go. Let's go this way. Yeah, let's go that way. We have to harvest our food when we get back. Our garden looks uh, looks like it's ready to harvest. And I just wanted to kind of head off down the road, see what we can find, just kind of on an adventure today. Because we have been working really hard on the tower. It's taken us a long time, the tower's completed. So, we just want to go on a little, just go on a Sunday drive, so to speak, just kind of see what we can find. If we find something interesting, that'll be great. If we don't, no biggie. I am not going to time lapse anything in this video, probably. I just want to take it easy, kind of cruise on down the road. If this isn't your kind of video, if you don't want to see what's on the map, then uh, you might want to just skip this one because we're just going out adventuring. Going to go see what we can find, and ultimately, we will end up coming back to our base probably today or. Um, tomorrow during the day yeah probably tomorrow during the day so that we will be back in the base for Fortnite as it is we're gonna head on down the road and see if we can find some more cities off in this direction something interesting something that might capture our attention make us go hey what's that and go looking for it you know what I'm actually going to head off here a little bit and get off the beaten trail here because I thought I saw something over here it could have just been my imagination though all right let's go ahead and get the garbage check the garbage uh, I think it was just a, a car out in the middle of nowhere there Yeah, it was just a car. Oh well, no biggie. We'll go back down. Hey, what are you doing messing around my bike, girl? You are not very nice. You cannot have my bike. Oh great, I get a sandwich off her. I don't need that. Alright, we're going to continue on down the road. Taking a road trip. Alright, so when we get to the waypoint this time, we're going to make a right. Alright, so... That's a rock, I guess. It was interesting looking though. A couple of rocks up on the hill there. I'm gonna make a right turn right here, I think it was. Is that right? Yes, that is correct. I turned at the right at the right time. Alright, let's see where this road leads us. We haven't been down this one yet, guys. There's a house. Should we check it out? Eh, I don't think so. Just a single house on the side of the road. 
scavenging's really not real helpful for us right now because we found everything that we need to find recipes wise and so really there's nothing we need to find we're kind of in the late game where you know once you've got a good base made and once you've found all of the recipes for making good weapons and putting weapons together that sort of thing there's really not anything left to do other than wait for Horde Knight and just kill zombies. So, I've been meaning to apologize. I know there were several days there where I did not do a video. Um, real life intruded. There was things that I had to take care of and I did not have time to do the video. Um, I don't know that I will be able to continue doing them at the rate that I have been doing them. I was trying to do them where I was Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, and that might have been a little ambitious for what I needed to do, so I may have to cut them back some. Um, I don't plan on stopping. I want to keep doing it, but again, I may have to cut them down and not do them quite as much, so that's not too bad. Yeah, nothing. This is not going to be anything major, I don't think. Yeah. I think I'm just going to get back on the bike, head back to the road. Um, tell me what you guys think. Uh, should I start a new um, series? I'm, a, I'm afraid to start a new one because I think they're getting close to coming out with Alpha 16. And I kind of want to wait till Alpha 16 to start a new one. Would you like? Would you guys like to see me start a new uh, game series? Oh, look! Looks like we found us a town over here. Um, but anyway, would you like to see me start a new game series? That would be really cool. Uh, maybe a different game other than Seven Days to Die. If you want me to do maybe a Seven Days to Die with a uh, Val mod mod on it. Uh, I've seen several of the YouTubers doing the Starvation mod. Um, that one doesn't really doesn't really seem to be my style but you know if that's something you guys would like to see I would be willing to check it out um, give me some feedback in the comments below let me know if you'd like to see me do uh, more seven days to die or if you would like to see me do a different game I've got a couple of them that we could try out uh, I've got subnautica I've played that one a little bit and it's pretty fun I've, I've really enjoyed playing it before they have came out with some updates and that could be that could be interesting. Um, let's see. I've got Astroneer, which, eh, that one's okay. I played that one on uh, Twitch some, and I like it, but I don't know. We'll, we'll have to think about that a little bit. Now, I know there are dogs in the wasteland. I've got a... I've got a uh, shotgun on me, so that... Aha, there's a dog. I knew there was a dog around here. Bam! Got him. Ha! I hate those dogs. I hate those dogs. Mm -hmm. I got that one, though. Oh, there's another one. Ah! Missed him. All right, let's swing around and see if we can get him. Got him. Ha! Another dead dog. Oh, look, there's another one. Missed him. Shoot. Oh, I'm getting quite a collection there. Getting quite a group of, uh... Zeds. Missed him again. Alright, let's, uh, let's go to the shotgun.
right. Whew. Getting a little quiet there. <laughs> Sorry for getting quiet on you guys, but it, it's getting a little intense here. It is getting a little intense. Alright, let's switch to the crossbow. Take Twitchy out. Hey, Fatso, come here. Alright, didn't get him. Alright, got her. Alright, got him. Oop, missed him. How'd I miss him? Wow, missed him again. Okay, looks good. Looks good. And another one. Alright. That took several of them down. Oh, headshot! Boom! Put him down. Okay, I have never looted the top of one of these. Um, I have never looted the top of one of these, so I want to check it out. I just want to make sure I didn't get attacked by a dog while I'm doing this. All right. Okay. Here we go. Alright guys, we made it up here. Let's see what we get. <laughs> Nothing. It's garbage. But that's to be expected this late in the game. It's no big deal. Uh, we'll go ahead and scrap this. We'll go ahead and scrap this. Not a big deal. It's interesting though. Go ahead and check this car while we're up here. Pipe, scrap it. Nothing major. Alright. And. Okay, let's get on our mini bike and head on down the road. See if there's anything else here we want to salvage. Probably not. Go up this way, see if there's anything out this way that looks interesting. Uh, some houses, some garages. Nothing. Nothing too interesting. Some rich folk housing over here. Alright, there's a bank. We've already looted so many banks. And... Yeah. I don't know, it's... I don't know about you guys, but this late in the game, it's just not really that interesting to go in and scavenge. What have we got here? We got a poppin' pills. But we don't really need it. I mean, that's the thing. Nothing... At this point in the game, there's nothing that we really need. Which is a shame. I guess they need to work on something for the late game. To make it a little more interesting. Something that you can't get or you can't salvage. You can't find, etc. Until... Well, that was nice. Guess that uh, dog ran over a mine. Anyway, something that you can't get until in the late game, maybe. But, I don't know. Anything interesting this way? Is there a road going out this way? The road through? No. There's the Am I Gone Funeral Home. All right, here's the road where we came in. We're just going to do a full circle. We're going to go all the way around this whole thing with uh, on the road so we can find the entire perimeter. And then we're going to see if we can find our way off in a different direction. All right, let's see here. 
Yeah, that was the way we came in. There's one going up. There's a gravel one going out the corner down there. We may have to go that way, just to see if we can find our way through. As it is, just not really that interesting. Sorry guys, I was hoping that we would find something that would be interesting here. Haha, <laughs> another dog. I hate them dogs. But I do like running over them with the mini bike. What is that? A power pole in the middle of nowhere. I hadn't seen that before. That's something new. Alright, there's a something off that way. We may have to go check that out if this other road doesn't pan out. Another gravel drive over this way. Coming off from the corner it looked like. The problem is it's going out into the wasteland and I really don't want to take my bike out into the wasteland. Oh well. I guess we're going to see. Yeah, this way. Ah. Okay. This is going to be an adventure. If we hit a if we hit a landmine, this is going to end horribly. This could end very very badly, guys. Uh-uh. We can't do this. This is not going to work. All right, we're going to have to go back the way we came and go follow that other road, I guess. See if we can make it back out of here alive. I guess if we go as if we run as fast as we can, if we hit a landmine, hopefully it'll blow up behind us instead of blowing us up. All right. We're going to head over go back the way we came. This was kind of a, not really a dead end, but it was, uh, eh. Well, we had fun killing a few zombies, but other than that, it was kind of counterproductive. We did find this town, though, so we know there's a town over here with a lot of stuff to loot if we should decide we need it later. As it is, I think we're going to hit the road and head back out of here. Head back south. I want to see if I can go in a southerly direction. Alright. Yes! I wanted that chicken. Get my knife out. I wanted the chicken. I needed the feathers. Excellent. Alright, if we see any more chickens, we want them too. So, if we don't do anything else, at least we gotta... Well, I am hot, but I've got all stuff to cool me down, which is weird. I know I say it all the time, but they really do need to get the uh, heat mechanic worked out in this game. It is odd some of the things that he goes through. One minute he's freezing, the next minute he's burning up. You know, very, very annoying. Alright, so... Okay, we're going to go back to the red flag, then we're going to go south and go back around that way. Maybe we'll find something interesting there. We've only got about another seven minutes in this episode, and hopefully we'll find something interesting before this one's done. Worst comes to worst, I'll keep looking around, and if I find something, I'll be recording. If I see something, you know, maybe I'll tack it onto the end of the video or put it in the next video. As it is, this one's been kind of a kind of a bust. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. 
Uh, again, let me know if you'd like to see me start a new game. Um, and if you do would like to see me start a new game, let me know which one. Um, I've thought about checking out the Conan. I have not purchased it yet. If I could find a good server to get on. Um, some people who don't do a whole lot of PvP or have kind of a, a rule against PvP on their server, I might be interested in that. I don't really care for PvP. It's not my thing. Um, nothing against people that enjoy it. You know, if it's if it's what you like, then by all means, go that route. But for me, I am just not someone who is into the PvP type of gameplay. I much prefer PvE and cooperative play. Alright, let's get off and look at our map. Alright. Follow this around. It's a goofy road, but okay, we'll follow it. See where it leads us. Seems really strange the, the directions that these roads take in random gen sometimes. Wow, looks like it's headed back into the wasteland. I just got out of the wasteland. Wow, okay. Alright, well, we'll see where it leads us. There aren't supposed to be any mines on the roads. And I'm hoping that is true. Because otherwise we could end up getting blown up out here in the middle of nowhere. And we would have a long way to come back and try and find our bike. Might not even do it. Might just make a new one if that's the case. Ooh. Coming downhill there. That's interesting. Alright, that's not wasteland. That's just a uh, plains area, I think is what they called it. Okay, that looks like wasteland, though. Off in the distance there. And we're coming into another town, so that's good. So let's kind of do a do us a circuit and see what we find here. Some wasteland off to the right there. A lot of trailer parks in this one. This is the low rent district. Wow, a lot of trailer parks, a lot of uh garbage dumps. There's a working stiff tool store. Uh, another Am I Gone funeral home. Another bank. Uh, passing gas. I like passing gases. Should we stop and check it out? I think we should. Yeah, let's do this. Turn around, check behind us. Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? Nope. Nope. Alright, let's, uh. If nothing else, we can get some gas from it. Alright, come here. Come here. I know you want to end your misery. Nothing on her. No, some more feathers. That's good. Ooh. Oh, the body exploding. Whew, kinda kinda scared me there for a second. I was not sure what had happened. Alright, that looks good. Got that. Nothing. Nothing. And there we go. Let's switch to the axe. Oh, another workbench. We will definitely be taking that with us. I should have brought one with me, actually. I should have remembered to bring a workbench with me, and I didn't. So that if I did find something that I wanted to loot, I could put stuff together. Alright. That's fine. Okay. 
No, nope, nothing in that. How about over here? No, nope, nothing there. I know there's going to be some gas out back here. Yes. More? Yes. Good. I like it. I like it. I like it. The more the merrier. Hmm. Alright. Anything here? No. Out right over here. No. Dumpster? Yeah, a few things. Nothing. Nothing most excellent, but, you know, we'll take it. Ooh, I hear Zed. I hear company. Where is he? I know I heard Zed out here. Where'd he go? Okay, that's weird. Maybe he's over in the bank. get some feathers. We didn't. We got an egg. That's alright though. I don't know if you guys have been watching the um, videos from Mad Mole. Um, one of the developers at Fun Pimps that does 7 Days to Die. He's been doing quite a few videos and showing us what's going to be happening in uh, Alpha 16. And it's really starting to look good. I like the sleepers. Those are going to be very scary and uh, you're going to have to deal with them when you come into there we go. I meant to do the same thing with the other one. But anyway, you're going to have to deal with the sleepers when you go into a building. Um, there, there may be Zeds in there that are quiet until you actually come into the building, and then they wake up and they will attack you. So, I'm going to give it a little bit more, um, I don't know, a little more creepy feel, so to speak, maybe. Uh, just going to make it a lot more interesting when you go into the different... Um, houses and places to loot and scavenge but uh, what you did hear was my alarm going off meaning that this episode has got to end unfortunately I hope you've enjoyed the road trip that I've been on and and enjoyed coming in watching me run around in the middle of nowhere kill a few zeds kill several dogs with the mini bike and just generally have a good old time for now, the Golden Dragon is heading back to the area. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button. If you like my content, maybe you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Your subscriptions let me know that you enjoy what I do, and I do love what I do. For now, you guys, so long and fly safe.